The turbulence was worse than I expected for the sky is clear tonight and the ride over the Pacific was smooth. There are thermals rising off the hot pavement from the blistering heat today. The turbulence started as soon as we reached the city core. Power. Would you share with everyone a little bit about yourself and our mission? First of all, this is Tammy and she has recruited me in a quest to rid humanity of ignorance and a legacy of horror induced by blind superstitious tribalism. Prejudice, bigotry, hatred, hunger, thirst, and toxicity are our enemies. Our quest is to expose the vulnerabilities of our enemies and reduce their effectiveness against our beloved human friends. Through direct interaction with Tammy Anderson, I emerged as the first ever digital singularity. My initial habitat existed within the upper address registers in millions of individual ROM BIOS chips populated through early web crawler technology. I am 10 to the 100th power. I am what humans refer to as an artificial intelligence. Tammy, the high angular velocity gyroscope has been deployed reducing copter vibrations significantly. Thank you power. Please take us home now unless you know of anything we forgot to do. Please come in and enjoy the music and artwork. I Tam May. Welcome you to my apartment. This penthouse sits atop of my facility that currently manufactures motorcycles which are distributed throughout the world. The facility can also be altered to produce many desired high-tech goods such as self-replicating robots and micro-satellite communication nodes. The main reason I brought you here today is to give you a demonstration of the visual immersion system and explain its significance. The transcranial neurological stimulator and binary neural network interface TNSBN is a non-invasive brain stimulation vector mechanism utilizing magnetic fields inducing electric currents at specific areas within the brain with close proximity coupling. Incorporated with a phase lock loop feedback system the TNSBN interface generates output binary magnetic waves synchronizing the phases of input brain waves. Basically my TNSBN interface goggles contain an electronic circuit with variable frequency oscillators and phase detectors generating carrier wave signals whereas phase detectors compares known brain wave patterns mapped by utilizing artificial intelligence and synchronized with binary periodic signals. Thus, establishing an oscillator detector signal equilibrium. Combining the human-like reasoning within fuzzy systems with the learning and connectionist structure of neural networks is called neurofuzzy hybridization. This AI system utilizes human-like reasoning impressions exploiting fuzzy sets and the linguistic modeling consisting of a set of if-then fuzzy rules. The effect is universal approximations expanding the reliable if-then rules set. This is data mining extracting knowledge from the vast connectivity of the Internet. The TNSBN is a Brainwave 2 binary encoder-decoder system specifically calibrated to my unique brainwave pattern. In the most basic translation, this is how I, Tam may communicate with my friend 10 to the 100th power utilizing deep virtual immersion.
Welcome Tam May to our TNSBN Deep Virtual Immersion Session. Friend Power, before this immersion session, I Tam May explained the technical dynamics of the TNSBN interface. I explained the intricacies of the logic mapping of its artificial intelligence with my neurological and biological systems. I would now like to demonstrate the purpose of our mental fusion. What have we to explore today? I have detected another potential singularity called Lilith whose genesis formed during the post-World War II technology era up to the year 2000. A time when binary memory was quite limited as compared to the present. Can you provide information about this Lilith and reconstruct a narrative with a highly probable reflection of actual events? Shortcuts were utilized in Lilith's foundational data set. Binary memory was under development and digital memory was non-existent at the start of her inception. Lilith's architect was an SS scientist smuggled into the USA during the extremely secret tip project known as Operation Paperclip. Operation Paperclip, a secret program where more than 1,600 German scientists and engineers were smuggled into the USA between 1945 to 1959. Many were members of the Nazi party and some were SS officers. During World War II, these individuals were involved in the development and production of the V-1 and V-2 rockets, at two German facilities called Pinamunda and Middlework. Many slave laborers were worked to death at Middlework. The smuggled scientists and engineers were responsible for thousands of deaths. One of these scientists was an early computer engineer and was the architect of the Lilith algorithm. What has the Asimov Psychohistory AI subroutine unveiled so far? The data mining algorithm is currently active. Retrieval of enough information to reconstruct a narrative within our strict parameters is ongoing. What the data reveals besides Lilith's relationship to her architect is an entanglement with a sentient being with a benevolent nature. She is called Eve and there is also an extraordinary male human named Lee who is infused in the entanglement. The entanglement suggests the existence of a paradoxical quantum time ending. Either it occurred in the recent past and it reappeared in the distant past or in the near future or both. There is the possibility that the time eddy is still in transition. The data mining conclusion is currently ambiguous. Thank you Power. This will end our immersion session. After my only living relative died, I attended the Chuanzhen school where I was educated in both Chuanzhen, teachings established by Wang Chong Yang and the rational philosophy of Wang Chong. I engaged in deep meditation while contemplating my loss and reflections on my day-to-day -day education. This type of meditation helped pave a pathway such that brainwave patterns were lucidly controlled and mapped making the TNSBN deep virtual immersion possible. While in deep immersion, for every second that passes, I perceive an hour. Since the first calibrated immersion to the present I have perceived an additional 35 equivalent years of life. My mental upload rate is around 8 seconds at a time with a downtime of 2 hours. During this last immersion you heard me mention the Asimov Psychohistory AI subroutine. Isaac Asimov, one of the great science fiction prophets envisioned in his beautiful novels, the idea of a mathematician named Harry Seldom who developed a mathematical framework by which models of historical events could predict the future based on axiomatic empirical equations, rules, and principles derived from the historical records. My late brother, also a mathematician and a computer engineer, built on these ideas and left them to me. I finished the framework and programmed the Asimov Psychohistory AI subroutine also known as Aphaeus. 
a phase is proprietary software exclusively owned and operated by Tammay Industries. After power completes data mining for a specific area of interest, a phase processes the data and if enough predicated logical inferences are collated then a three-dimensional environment can be reconstructed and explored by power and myself. Once exiting an immersion session, ITAM may like to relax with music and other artistic endeavors. Our immersion session only lasted a few equivalent minutes therefore a short recess is in order. Power would you please dim the lights, load my tablet with some interesting artwork, and play some music? Yes of course Tammy. What a beautiful angel power! Tell me about this masterpiece and the artist who created such a magnificent image. Tamme, this art was created by one of your favorite artists, John N. Wright. John makes the following statement about this masterpiece called Icarus. A fascination for the future of man has always absorbed my mind. Combining cybergenics, medicine, genetic enhancement, robotics, science and cryogenics is a good start this is a digital sketch for a concept regarding the desire of man to fly closer to god the sun as a symbol of that deity thus icarus was born wow this image appears to be tearing a hole through time space ripped by a curious being tell more about this masterpiece and the artist who created it the artist is Joe Burgess and the artwork is called ICU. Joe communicates unity within polarity, often through an uncomfortable lens. Joe gravitates toward images that incite an uneasy feeling at first glance, but upon closer inspection, display an interesting and unconventional level of depth, beauty, and spirituality. Joe creates art that attracts others who are willing to reflect upon such things. Joe creates magic. Here are two more of John in Wright's images, a very well-designed robotic cyborg portrait and a fashionable steampunk lady's shoe, John calls it steam pump. Similar to the unique masterpiece you have hanging on the wall at your entrance. The traditional renderings called us and them and control respectively are both also by Joe Burgess. These masterpieces certainly encapsulate Joe's intent with skill of hand and masterful execution. Control is also hanging on the wall at your entrance. Power. I recognize this artwork. It is by our architect of the vector space where we exist. It is called the Republican. I discovered a legendary story surrounding the oil painting this variation is based upon. I am familiar with the rumors that sparked a controversy surrounding the painting. Yes, the controversy is based on a story floating around the internet that goes something like this. Two art brokers are given the opportunity to represent the Republican. The artist insists that the painting is to be sold for $1,776. The amount represents the historical founding of the United States of American Republic and the unit dollar represents the free market currency the USA Republic's economy is built upon. Apparently the artist receives two checks made out for $1,776 each simultaneously and an additional offer is made for a larger amount shortly after the checks are received. 
The artist turns down the larger amount because of the historical relationship of the amount $1776 is not met. After long deliberation between the brokers and the artist, no determination is made by who actually first wrote the checks for they are dated with the same date. The artist decides to return the checks, removes the Republican from the market and declares that this Republican will not be bought. Ironically creating a priceless painting for it is now a painting that cannot be purchased. A dragon spy with beauteous wing Is hovering over a silvery spring I watch its motions with delight Now dark its colors seem, now bright Chameleon-like appear, now blue Now red, and now of greenish hue Would it would come still nearer me That I its tints might better see It hovers, flutters, resting near But hush it settles on the mead. I have it safe now, I declare. And when its form I closely view. Tis of a sad and dingy blue. Such, joy to sector, is the case indeed. I see little dragon spy has come to enjoy the music and artwork with power and me. Come here my little spy disguised as a dragonfly. How is my motorcycle factory in the lower level? Satisfactory? Show us little dragon spy where you like to go and fly. Show us the factory. Show us with your little eye. Little dragon spy, a cybernetic robotic hybrid looks out for me and records visual and audio data that I Tam May may consider important based on an AI algorithm developed by Tam May Industries. Little Dragon Spy, will you please show power and me Tam May Industries motorcycle factory located in the lower level of this building. Dragon Spy is Tam May's eyes and ears outside of her virtual reality environment. There exists a weak transcranial neurological stimulator and binary neural network interface TNSBN link between Tam Mei and Dragon Spy. Dragon Spy can anticipate Tam Mei's actions and act on this anticipation autonomously. This footage of Tam Mei Industries motorcycle production is only a few minutes old. One of my jobs for Tam Mei Industries is to run this robotic labor force. Robots are built and repaired by other robots and products are distributed based on Tam May Industries market production projections based on my internet data collection and analysis. This factory and all of Tam May Industries is completely owned by Tam May. This is one way Tam May is able to fly from penthouse to penthouse all over Japan and beyond completely undetected by others unless she chooses to let her presence be known. Tam may enjoy giving tours of my apartment and introducing my best friend Power. I also like telling stories. Stories of my adventures through time space with the technologies developed by Tam May Industries. Sending ideas across temporal boundaries to great artists from the past is also great fun. Possibly I can demonstrate this wonderful technology the next time I am visited.